This is Atma Boda. Today the topic is turn your life inside out. But first of all, why should you listen to me? Well, very simply, I am much higher than you. <laughs> I am an illuminated master. In magic circles, you could call me a magus, an adept. In Eastern philosophy, you could call me illuminated, a yogi, a guru, enlightened, liberated. These are all words that could be used to describe me. So what is somebody that is enlightened? It's very simply someone who is experiencing such an extreme degree of euphoria, love, bliss, inspiration, that for a normal person to approximate this continuous high, you would have to be on a bunch of drugs, <laughs> basically. You basically would have to be on a cocktail of different drugs just to ap approximate what it feels like naturally for someone like me, who's liberated. You see, society has trained you from an early age to define yourself from the outside in. But that's all a lie. It's all a deception. The truth is, who you are can never be defined by what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. And when you come from that place of limitlessness, limitless authenticity within you, that core place, what's happening is you are coming from the inside out, instead of the outside dictating to you who you are, when you were able to come from that innermost core of that deeper identity, something that you can unlock and experience for yourself, when you're able to do that, then you know you've just begun to arrive. When you no longer are struggling with external dramas, but instead you are able to make an impact. So in other words, in, in, instead of the world impacting you, you're able to impact the world. And that is what someone who is liberated an illumined master does. They are completely liberated from their environment and instead their environment becomes a reflection of who they are. So instead of you becoming a reflection of your environment, the environment becoming a reflection of you. And that, that is what power is about. So, I've had a bit of a hiatus, you might say. I did some purification to arrive at a place where I feel more empowered and more healthy. And also went more deep to understand what is the best way to help as many people as possible because obviously there's a lot of suffering in the world, a lot of struggle. You know, being a master doesn't mean that you are just escaping the matrix at least not, not from where I'm coming from. Where I'm coming from, it's about using the power for good. And with great power comes great responsibility, as you know. But first of all, some people have asked me, how have you arrived or you have arrived, right? How is it that you are able to be high all the time? Uninterruptible, right? 
to be so blissful, to be so loving, to be so unstoppable, so that you can feel this intensity of life in every moment, every second of every day, and not allow anyone to be able to take that away from you or to in even interrupt it for a second, to be able to stay continuously every nanosecond of every day in this space. Now, this is not able to happen independently, okay? Completely independently, no. Why is that? Because there is something called the absolute. By grace of the absolute, can you discover yourself completely? And why is that? Because the part of you that is limitless is the part of you that is the absolute. So what method is the best method to achieve complete liberation where you are in a state of samadhi nirvana every second of every day? How to do that? Well, first of all, it's not about method. It goes beyond method. It goes to the core identity of who you are. And that means going to a deeper understanding of who you are, more so than you know in this lifetime, the more so that has been revealed to you in this lifetime, which means that there is a part of you that lived before this human form. And you may consider that to be a radical concept, right? But not really, right? Buddhism talks about this, yogic philosophy talks about this, the concept of reincarnation. There is some credibility behind that. And you could look into various stories. Like, for example, there's the Egyptologist, uh, Dorothy Eady, I believe her name was. And there's other accounts of, of people who have unexplained knowledge of what occurred prior to this lifetime. So the first step, if you want to arrive at a place of, of complete awesomeness, is to have an open mind, right? To have an open mind about various concepts. To not come from a place where you don't believe something, but more from a place that your mind can accept something if it presents itself, to have a receptive mind. Right. Step number two is very simple. It is trying to remove any limitations from your beliefs. Right? So if you have any misconceptions about yourself or limiting beliefs whereby you think, oh, you're, you can't do this or I can't do this, Everything that has to do with can't in your vocabulary basically has to be thrown out the window because you want to come from a place of limitless possibilities, right? Where you have no limits. That within, within you, you are not defined by merely your body or your mind, but a deeper sense of self within your heart. Now, as far as methods go, I can share with you the method that, that I use, but I, I, at this point, I've come to the conclusion that methods are not the most effective way to become enlightened. The most effective way is to be in the presence of a master, to be in touch with, in communication with, to engage with, someone who has already become liberated, who's already illumined, whose, whose mind has already reached a place where there is no worries, no doubts, no fear. None of those things can touch a true master. And a true master comes from love. Now, a true master when properly embodied with love, with inspiration, 
there's a ripple effect that happens. Okay? There's a presence that gets expanded beyond the physical body. And people who are not yet liberated or enlightened can be in the presence of such a being and feel uplifted and feel inspired. And that, in my opinion, is the most effective way to become liberated, is, is to connect with someone like me who is already liberated. And just by virtue of being in the presence of or just tuning your mind to this energy, that, in effect, will empower you and make you more liberated. It's very simple. It used to be that I was of the opinion that methods were the most important things, but in this day and age now, it's time to accelerate things. Yes, it, you know, if you want to spend lifetimes you can do different meditative practices to attain certain heights independently. But the time for that level of independence is, is not needed anymore. Anybody who wants to be liberated, anyone who wants to be enlightened, you can connect with me, feel this vibe, and that is going to help you a lot. There's an old saying that in the presence of a master, you can accelerate your enlightenment much, much faster than if you're on your own. And it doesn't matter if it's me, it doesn't matter if it's somebody else, any enlightened master that you're able to come in contact with, if they are genuine, just being in the presence of such a person is going to liberate you, is going to get you in touch with that beautiful side of you. And this is not a relationship of dependence. It's just a matter of, how do you say, having an ocean of bliss and love around me all the time, it's like, okay, everybody, I want you to be able to drink in that, right? I want you to be able to swim in that. Does that have to do with me? Is that like, oh, I want it to be about me? No, it's not. It's about you. It's about, okay, this space is already here. This space is created. Now you are free to be able to tap into that space and to enjoy it. And that's all I'm trying to do is make this space a public space for everyone to be able to benefit from. Not about me personally, not about glorifying me, but about connecting with the absolute so that everybody can connect with that higher power called the absolute. And this may sound very controversial, and I recognize that, because from a Western perspective, that, that's just not done, right? You, you get your knowledge from books. You don't get your knowledge just by having a relationship or by being in the presence of somebody, right? You, you don't get knowledge via osmosis in university, right? You, 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 you attend a class with a professor. You have to listen, right? You have to take notes. You just can't close your eyes and just like mind meld with the professor. That's not how it works. But with enlightenment, that's how it works. With divine knowledge, that's how it works. That when somebody has tapped into this limitless power source and they are embodying it, they become a source of limitless power for others to tap into. And that's the beauty about this. And once you are liberated, you also can be a limitless source of power for others to tap into, just like me. 
So that's what I'm doing now is I'm opening my doors. Anybody who wants to tap into this limitless source of power, no cost, free of charge, I'm right here. And I'm also available for interviews. I'm also available for private one-on-one -on -one consultation for free, no cost, no Patreon. You can go to divinity.com to book an appointment or you can leave comment on the YouTube video. And you can also reach me on Discord or Slack or Reddit. And this is Atmaboda at service to you. Remember, namaste. The divinity within me honors and respects the divinity within you. Peace out.